Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see Alienware AW2725DF monitor best settings. So, the best settings for the Dell Alienware monitor is first one is Windows display settings. So, in Windows, set the display resolution to 2560 into 1440p native resolution for the monitor. Enable HDR if you are using HDR content, otherwise keep it disabled for SDR content. HDR can be enabled disabled on a per application basics. Adjust the window display brightness, contrast and color settings to your preference. A good starting point is brightness at 45% and contrast at 55%. The other best settings is for monitor OSD setting. In the monitor on screen display OSD menu. You can simply set brightness to 85, contrast to 80 and then sharpness to 50 percentage, its default. For the display mode, use creator mode to enable sRGB colors accuracy. And after that, disabling HDR mode in the monitor OSD if you are not using HDR content as it can limit brightness adjustability. The other best settings is for game settings. The SDR gaming use the creator mode present in the monitor OSD for the most accurate sRGB color reproduction. You can simply adjust the NVIDIA control panel settings to set digital vibrance to 60% for vibrant but accurate color. Set brightness to 45% and contrast to 55% for good shadow detail. Other settings is for HDR gaming. Enable HDR mode in both Windows and the monitor OSD. So in the monitor OSD, select the HDR1000 mode for the best HDR performance. This mode cannot be adjusted further as it optimizes for HDR content. You can simply adjust Windows HDR settings to your preference. And the final is that general usage. The monitor has excellent out of the box color accuracy in creator mode. So, calibration is not strictly necessary for most users. The monitor has very low input lag and fast response time make it great for gaming. Be aware of potential VRR means variable refresh rate flicker in dark scene which is commonly with OLED display. So this monitor does not have any audio output so you will need to use a external audio solution if connection speaker. And that's it. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more tech tips and tutorial. Goodbye.